Well, hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here on Hilton Head Island. I'm right in front of Disney's Hilton Head Island Beach House. And Heather and I are working on some sunrise photography this morning. Here's Heather. <clears throat> Heather's using her Z50 and she's got the, uh, she's got the Tamron 18 to 400 on. And I'm using my Z50 and I have the, uh, the kit lens, the 16 to 50 kit lens, and Heather got me some, uh, some graduated neutral density filters. So I'm trying those out this morning. It's very overcast this morning as we're waiting for the sun to rise. And we're kind of down here at the beach. And I've got my camera down kind of low and I'm shooting uh, F8 one half a second right now, which the f-stop will have to go up as the sun comes up or I might put a another neutral density filter on but I like the uh, the slow shutter speed because if a wave comes in like this one I can start my two-second timer and then let's do another one as that rolls back out then you get some nice uh, foam as it's rolling out It's pretty cool. This photo was the very first photo I took that morning and I ended up liking it quite a bit. We have got a little bit of foam making a line at the bottom right and there's all sorts of lines and foreboding skies. And speaking of foreboding skies, this one really has some seriously foreboding skies and I like the way the bubbles are going into the frame and heading off to the left while the waves go to the right. This one I cropped 16 by 7 uh, it's kind of plain, I guess, compared to the first two, but I think the 16 by 7 crop helps it out a lot, and there are lots of streaming bubbles. Are you having fun yet, Heather? Yeah. Cool. When we first got here, there was just us and one other couple on the beach. Now there's walkers and cyclists and joggers, and there's the one couple that was here when we got here. Kind of yeah, almost 100% overcast, but it's still pretty. Well, the sun's coming up some more now and got some cool rays coming through. So I can see that I need to be back over here making another exposure. So I have added right here in between, I've added a five stop uh, neutral density circular polarizer combo and I'm trying to keep my exposure at about one second and catch these waves as they roll back out, kind of like that. I had that extra filter on, the five stop circular polarizer combo filter for probably the best light of the morning and I really didn't like the results I was getting with it. This is the only photo I liked. And also there's some gulls wandering around on the beach now, or there were, I guess they're all gone. And I. Back in my camera bag, I have the uh, I have the 200 to 500 on the D500, so made a couple shots of that. Heather's hey. Heather's over here doing some cool stuff. Oh, that's very beautiful. Mine's much darker looking than that. I may have too much filter on. This is cool. This is fun. Here's a couple of Heather's photos. I thought she did a wonderful job catching all the drama in the sky in the background and still having some cloud drama and some wave drama as well. Here's another one of hers. Lots of uh, all sorts of interesting things going on in the sea and the sky and on the beach as well. She did really well. We're still working on it. I figured out after a lot of struggles that my polarizer was uh, giving me, you know, I was using too wide of a lens, even the 16 millimeter lens. Uh, 24 millimeter equivalent was was too wide so and my sky was having splotchy splotches so I've taken that off now I've got a 10 stop on and I'm doing some crazy uh, 30 second exposures I made one kind of far up the beach while Heather was working right by the water line of Heather 30 second shot she moved a little bit in it obviously uh, but not a whole lot so I thought it turned out pretty cool here is that 30 second shot I made of Heather with the 10 stop filter on. She was working uh, on shots looking to the right uh, as the sea was coming in and I love the way the clouds look in this and 
She was concentrating a lot on her shot, so she didn't move very much during the whole 30 seconds. On this shot, I took the 10-stop filter off and put a 3-stop on, and I was kind of looking to the left where Heather was looking to the right. And I love the way the bubbles are flowing in from the bottom corner of the frame and pointing you up to the top right where the sunrise action is. And Heather has been working nonstop. What you working on, honey? Just different things. I mean, I've taken 174 pictures and I just want to see what I get and what I like. Awesome. I'm sure some of them will be shared with you. I hope so, anyway. This is one of the photos that Heather made while she was pointing her camera to the right down the beach. I thought this one came out really beautifully. Lots of interesting colors in the sky and action going on on the beach. And this shot is looking kind of straight out at the sunrise and she did a five shot high dynamic range image to capture those sun rays coming down. Okay, so there's a bird I've always wanted to photograph called a skimmer. And I was coming back to put this camera down, my vlogging camera, I was coming back to put it down and I saw a skimmer coming across in the surf. And so I just picked up my D500 and it turned around as if wanting to give me a shot. It turned around and flew back by and I got a picture of the skimmer. I don't know, I don't know if it's any good or not, but it's the first one I've ever seen and I managed to get a picture of it, even though I was doing landscape photography. Be prepared. Bring your wildlife camera just in case. All right, here is my photograph of the skimmer. I think it's a black skimmer. I could be mistaken as it was flying along. And they get their name by the way they feed. Their lower section of beak skims through the water, picking up various small fish and things. The sun's up. The sun is up. We had a really nice time here at Hilton Head Island Beach right in front of Disney's beach house, really beautiful. There's this foam. I don't know if you can see it. See all those blocks of foam from where the, the ocean, the tide is receding right now. And it has been, you know, all morning. And uh, the foam has been, you know, every once in a while we'd have to move around while we were working on our shots because the foam would get in the way. Uh, but it's been really beautiful and I walked out into the sea. I'm wearing my uh, wearing my rain boots and I walked out into the water because there was a gull right on the edge of the water and I wanted to get good light on it because shooting at it from the beach was uh, the light was in the wrong direction. But anyway I stepped out into the water until the waves were just about to lap into the top of my boots and uh, made a shot with the D500 and the 200 to 500 of that gull. I think it's a ring bill. And uh, now I'm backlit, but so let's take a look at that. I was really happy with the way this ring billed gull came out. This is a great picture of an ordinary bird and the skimmer shot with bad light was kind of a poor picture of an awesome bird. And look at this, I really love the way this shot came out. This is a 500 millimeter shot looking down the beach of this dog and I've got two big blocks of foam for rule of odds. All right, so we are packing up in the bright morning sun. Uh, I don't, you know, let's point this way. We'll still be plenty. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. I'm trying to. Right there's good. Yeah, all right, so we're packing up this morning here at Hilton Head Island and uh, on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean been a fun morning of sunrise photography with a little bit of wildlife thrown in and uh, long exposure and just all sorts of stuff. It's been a really good time and we appreciate you watching. And uh, if you like the content, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Heather, where's your hand? It's right here. It's, oh. it's got stuff in it. Oh yeah, Heather was in the middle of packing up when I said, oh, we got to make a video. So <laughs> bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.